Welcome again, my friends and family, to this amazing <laughs> piece of knowledge management <laughs> research that you've all been waiting for. My name is Christian, this is Sasha, and together we are the Power Rangers. No copyright infringement uh, intended. It's not dependent on intention. Sasha's idea for today was to show some stuff visually instead of only in his very cool demo archive that you will probably know from the last episode. Did I say written? Something idiotic. Interesting. Um, so for this purpose, uh, we've rigged up this trusty old MacBook with even more tools to make this recording possible. Um, I, I wonder when it will break. We've got a microphone, oh, camera. Wait a minute. Pro Safari. Uh, now a graphic tablet. We need to chat. And it's already for interaction. Already blowing. You blow. Because it's too hot to endure even more pressure. Now he's opening Safari and browsing the web to go to YouTube, which will make things even worse. Um, yeah, while we head to the uh, our own YouTube channel page, you can <laughs> try to send us messages in the chat. I think we'll be able to see them uh, even if we arrive a few minutes late. Um, yeah, so today... Um, Oh, let me fill fill uh, the time while Sasha is Why do you navigating around with even cooler news. Because um, if you are a reader of our website, you will be seeing an announcement this week or early next week. Uh, keep an eye on the website if you're interested in testing um, our latest invention, the Mac application I'm working on since December, which means... Um, I've worked on it so long that it's almost usable. And we're looking for testers and that will be happening soon. No sound? This looking for testers. No sound. Maybe because then we will hear no. It's a shit. Uh uh. Yes, but you are talking ah. and still no Zeug. Ah, wir haben auch keinen Zuschauer. Oh oh, eins. Ich hoffe, das ah. ist nicht aus, weil sonst YouTube mich sehen soll. Was willst du? Alles normal sagen? To summarize Christians introduction. We are beta testing the app, the awesome app, uh, which contains or is uh, is aligned with our ideas of knowledge work. If you want to be part of the uh, development and have a great time with us, mostly with Christian, um, then write Christian to me. The page for it is not ready. Yes, very nice timing. Don't sh shuffle <laughs> it in my shoes. It's in your shoes, I, see. I don't need to shovel anything, son of a ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, let's progress to something uh, with content. Also, du hast noch Dingens noch gar nicht zugefügt. Yes. That, that's not good. Da noch einen neuen Nein. I'm going to Nein. Ja, das ist falsch. Oh, hier kommt der Total New One. Um, yeah, today, or the plan for today is uh, to demonstrate um, some, some concepts um, of the, of the Zellikassen method um, in a more abstract way because it's kind of hard to um, yeah, to understand how the structure 
gets separated from the content when you work um, uh, when you work in your archive and just have to trust um, if you don't have uh, don't have uh, the right idea. I'm kind of the de developer or the main developer of the method uh, of the method itself. So I think for me it's quite easier and most of you, if not all, didn't read the second edition of the Zettel Custom Method book um, because it's not published yet. Um, and uh, because of that, I think it would be uh, very helpful if you just see it in a more abstract way. So imagine, I sollte ich das zeichnen. Do I have to listen? Uh, irgendwie schon. Okay, I try to uh, I try to uh, or I try to draw, but it will be my first experience with this drawing thing here. Um, so let's imagine you write <laughs> you <laughs> you write a note. Oh, uh, you write a note. Oh no, you write a note about. Um, You write a note about um, uh, wheat. That's basically what we did in uh, the test archive. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the test archive here is, um, yeah, this. Uh, we started out with a uh, just with this um, note. Wheat is deadly. And I think we need a big zeiger to demonstrate it in the zeiger app. Yeah, very helpful. Um, we started out um, with just the note and uh, write all the things down. Then we cropped, um, on our crop, we cut out uh, the content and made new notes with a link you see here. Uh, the Blue highlighted um, uh, numbers are the links, and um, we basically formed a structure note. A structure note because we pulled out all the content, and now here is just the structure. So the first part is okay. Wheat is suspicious, so it's uh, a reason to look further into it um, if this um, food is healthy or not. And the second part is all the arguments, or all, all the reasons and um, uh, reasonings uh, which stand behind um, a statement, which could be the third part. Um, weed, weed is deadly. So that would be the, uh, the conclusion. So we have here a reason to research. The second part is our research, and the third part would be the conclusion. So what we have, so the um, headings in between uh, aren't necessarily uh, fillers. You wouldn't you wouldn't write the headings in your real set of notes and call them first part, second part, or something. Um, it's just to to separate. Yeah, no, that's that's just for uh, for you guys. So in my archive, my personal archive, it would be look more like this. I would say here conclusion Re oh, reasonings. So that, this would be a more uh, appropriate point of view, but uh, I did the more. Uh, I added some more structure to this note, uh, so you can follow me a, um, a bit easier. So and here we have okay here we are. Perhaps we have no. Everything is not with. Aha. So suspicious so wheat. Now all foods contain anti-nutrients. Wheat contains anti-nutrients, and uh, this is basically the um, yeah the note for the suspicious. Suspicious. 
suspiciousness of uh, wheat. Like this is, is this is a formal argument, and um, so we have it here. So back to the drawing part. Whoa. Uh, so we first we wrote this note, and um, it got bloated. So we have here wheat is deadly, and um, uh, now we form several other notes from it. So here we have the conclusion. Wheat. Yes, I know. Okay, we make it more easy. Here we had the note, and now we uh, pull out a couple of other notes. Drawing is. I think. I think I can do this stuff for you too. <laughs> <laughs> Not as ugly as your beardless face. Captain beardless. That's, that's the real reason why we uh, show ourselves in the corner instead of full screen and draw around on a digital canvas because Sasha doesn't like my shaved face. Nobody likes your <laughs> shaved face, Sasha says. Okay, so uh, this note is the, uh, the structure note. So wheat is deadly, and then we have uh, here the suspiciousness and reasoning one, reasoning two, reasoning three, and then we would here at the final conclusion. Why did I? Okay, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to ask because I hoped this wouldn't happen. Conclusion. So, if you see, if we box this in, now you can see um, how the uh, how the structure is uh, from a more bird uh, bird point of view. Um, so this would be the note, and this is the structure of the note itself, but the note just contains the structure. Back to the note, uh, back to the archive. Hmm. Oh, the face was in the way. Huh? Yeah, we'll see the drawing app. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not drawing. Okay. Make yourselves even smaller. Goodbye. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <clears throat> so you can see here the similarities. Oh, I'm sorry. The similarities. We have here the whole note, here the conclusion, here the reasonings. Oh, uh, 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 here we have the suspiciousness, here uh, we have the reasonings, and here we have the conclusion. And now, so now uh, let's imagine this is just one note. Okay, I hope you can see it. This. And um, you have a whole, uh, whole new structure note on nutrition. For example, here, nutrition. Okay, like a W, but you get the idea. And the structure note refers to refers to several other notes. So imagine this this note on nutrition, the general note on nutrition, uh, would contain this, the structure of all the notes if you um, uh, worked 
properly um, of your archive. So this would this could be a note about fasting. This could be a note on uh, let's say supplements. This is about wheat and this is about let's say meat. And if you zoom in into the fasting, it could be that, oh, Christian, how I delete this thing. This, this thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's imagine you have already written something about fasting. Now we have what's the top? I saw the top is yeah. Um, so we have here the a similar structure, and now we have only. Uh, I'm going only into uh, hierarchy. Um, there are several, or at least one other kind of structure. So imagine here we have this structure settled about fasting in general. Then we have here something about the about the uh, fat metabolism. Fat metabolism. Um, something about uh, muscle hypot hypertrophy. Uh, and fasting, something about uh, the microbiome and something about uh, weight loss. So if we, if, if we zoom out, you can see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm super, super professional here. So if you zoom out, um, you, can, you can see how this goes uh, uh, with a hierarchy. So let's zoom out and imagine that, um, oh no, let's imagine we have uh, another type of structure here. We have wrote just one note uh, or several notes and the notes are connected to each other um, so, what if we link from, okay, what's that? Ah, supplements. Let's imagine we uh, link from the supplement to this node. And it's not very important uh, which content it is. Um, now, this, if you... Uh, if you rethink follow settle or folge settle in German, um, we have the same feature here. So the basic uh, the thing with the follow uh, with follow notes are you have uh, kind of stories or storylines. So every note has a context um, and similar to the plot. So imagine you have here this. It goes here, and now you can follow the steps to this, and we have a. I'm not sure if you can see the cursor. Yeah, I make it with more color. So let's imagine you uh, you work with or you see in the nutrition, and you are generally thinking about something in nutrition. Or oh, none. You you do you do it backwards. So you read this note and follow back the connection to here. Then you follow back the connection to here. Follow back the connection, follow back the connection, follow back the connection. So what you what you uh, what you know have is a trail. Um, so you you can decide if you write on if you write from the beginning and say okay I have general thoughts about nutrition. This thoughts uh, contain something about uh, supplements, and then you go on and on and on and on. And it could be um, argumentative. So let's say uh, here is the same. You have uh, you go from the suspicion. Uh, we can zoom in. So 
let's say here, suspiciousness of the wheat. And from wheat we go here, reasoning 1, reasoning 2, reasoning 3, conclusion. And this, this, It's also a trail, but it's more um, more like systematic. Um, the other trail, this, is not very systematic. So this whole uh, part of the uh, of your archive contains two different kind of structures. This this one is more of a hierarchy. This is most of the time what. Um, uh, what emerges when you go um, uh, with structure settles. So you write something down, you sort it out, like he here in the wheat um, in the wheat department, and um, then you um, cut the cut the content out and leave the structure behind. So we have this one. This is the structure uh, the structure note or the structure hint. And this is the structure node, but you can see it's not not um, not very separated. The structure itself is the content of one node. It's kind of kind of like in the brain, where the software and the hardware is basically the same. It's all neurons. Um, and you have here. This is more of an organic approach. This can be um, thoughts you have not uh, sorted out. You can do it. Like this, if you um, okay, let's clean this up. Um, for example, if you have here a new node, this links to here, this links to here, links to here, and links to here. If we crop that out and make it more, uh, make it more uh, nice. So this would look like this. Okay, how many for? And now you can see you can transform um, a very messy archive just with a um, small little trick into a more structured thing. So imagine um, you this uh, you want to sort of uh, sort of this, and this is um, this could be a thought on. Uh, it's about supplements. So let's imagine it is about um, protein powder. So we have here a note. Uh, So we have here we have a note about um, hypertrophy and protein powder. Here we have something about the uh, providers. Here we have a note about uh, how to take. And here we have a thing about dangers. So this could be like this. So we have here, this node should contain protein powders, protein powders. And this would be the node, protein powders. Why? Hypertrophy. How to take. Dangers. Providers. And if you write with your uh, archive, if you don't uh, try to be uh, super cool, only, I mean, um, then you have here just a text. So you have the heading, protein powders, then we have the introduction, hypertrophy, then we have, and you get the idea. And this could be your PhD. 
Certified. <laughs> yeah, we need to push. Um, so, as you can see, if you, I, I hope, okay, perhaps you did, can't read. Ah, uh, okay, we have, still we have viewers. So, if you have questions, I, I hope, what? I wonder why. Huh? Um, if you um, yeah, if you can uh, you can clearly see here how the structure uh, gets more sorted out and um, yeah that's basically how I work with structure set, uh, structure notes and sometimes I um, I go um, straight to the straight to the uh, structure note so. Imagine I want to write a book. Book on Christian's lack of beard. I wonder how the existing set of notes will tie into this. <laughs> um, book on Christian's lack. What is this shit? Yes, so the script isn't working. Please give me this. Uh, Christians lack of beard. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so you have to do it manually. Okay, we write a book about Christian's lack of beard. Um, it's S. Huh? It's S for sexy? No. Mm. It's for disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. If I if I plan to write a book on this topic, I would go straight into introduction. Argument or uh, concepts evidence conclusion or perhaps an article. Just just a just a note. And so if I now write uh, something, the concepts. The concepts are clear. So I begin not with notes. I say, what is a beard? Uh, what is what is um, the con? Okay, what's this? concept of? Was this Lackness? Lackness? <laughs> of what is the concept of uh, yeah Christian? Oh, who is Christian? Um, what does it mean if something is missing? Yeah, the meaning of something. So, evidence, Christian <coughs> is ugly, Christian is less ugly with beard. What kind of evidence would this be? Picture evidence? Can be. So, I demonstrate Christian is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> ugly. Oh, okay. Christian is I hope it's not anecdotal and your own <laughs> quotation is everything that's anecdotal no! <laughs> evidence. <laughs> Such are things. And okay, I would delete the uh, the title. So we have only the ID here um, that gives uh, give us more freedom 
um, to play with a with a title. Perhaps we can say Christian is not ugly. Perhaps Christian is disgusting. Um, and um, so I would um, expand on this, and I would, uh, if I write the book or write the text, I would add in here. And now we go back to drawing. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> okay, here. We have the note, or we have the we have the start. This is the book. So I wrote, write some notes about this. And now it can happen that I'm really elaborating on the concept of emptiness. So it's more philosophical. Emptiness. And then it can be it can get, get very messy. And that's kind of the, I know you can see. And what I do is, basically, I expand from here Christian's beard. Then we have here the concepts, the emptiness, and then I wrote, uh, write a plethora of notes um, from this, and I just expand, expand, expand. Imagine here emptiness, the concept of emptiness, alternative uh, definition um, and this links to something I don't know and um, imagine we have here the hashtag emptiness um, hashtags in this point of view would be something about uh, something like a idea in the platonic world uh, you can uh, google yeah just google it it's kind of yeah, please explain. What ideas are the Platonic? Platonic, yeah. You can imagine this is a... that little containers float in the empty space nobody can see, but everyone has potential access to. And these ideas realize themselves in the real world, but the things that are in the real world are not the ideas, they're just representations. And this representational gap um, is the gap between our real world and the platonic world of ideas, of the pure ideas, without all these messy things like being dirty because Sasha is throwing dirt <laughs> on them. Uh, yeah. Okay, imagine you have just, it's like a cloud of concepts and um, this is just the world I'm picking concepts from. And this cloud is your uh, tag cloud, for imagine. So the emptiness... What? <laughs> I wonder if they thought about this. Where? The, the tag cloud visualizing inventors. If they just wanted be, uh, to... Look, have it look like a cloud. So, all these notes have this emptiness hashtag. Hashtag emptiness on Twitter if you like this video. <laughs> we don't do that. So if you hashtag, I, don't, I won't look it up in Christian either because I command you not to. Can take away my Twitter account, but you cannot take away my <laughs> access to the internet. But I can break your finger, which is your access to the internet. So basically, yes. Hey Siri. <laughs> so back to the topic here. We get all over the place. So this is emptiness, and because you have this hashtag, you can search on emptiness and find perhaps three other nodes. So this could be more like this. And um, all the alternative definition also. So you can see here you have this cloud, and I hope you have this. You have a cloud. Like this, with all the your
books or um, okay. laugh, <laughs> rain, springtime, food, Hitler, okay. Hitler. What? What's about springtime? No. Mm -hmm. um, and this cloud is, yeah like a space for itself that is just imaginary um, and it would link all in here weapons of mass destruction <laughs> <laughs> so you can uh, this is basically what you do when you um, do a search for attack you go in the cloud and then access those master keys. And now here we can see the problem uh, why tagging only doesn't work and direct links are um, the key for uh, knowledge work because you can see how messy it goes and uh, how powerful this uh, or this process uh, this process is because now you can give your give your mess a bit of order a bit of a bit of structure and if you do it right so with uh, what ordentlich orderly do it orderly um, you would um, basically have the text and this would be uh, you can extract this here this would be <laughs> uh, this could be an outline um, a quite messy outline mm -hmm. Uh, in the first draft and then you um, uh, yeah you had had your text or in this case your PhD if you are uh, very uh, you work extensively on a topic and um, if you have this there's no structure in the cloud the cloud itself um, has indirect connections so imagine you have here um, okay it was empty no, what? Ah, Christian's beard. So Christian is another form of Hitler in this case. <laughs> and uh, so we have. Okay, we need the red color. So the Hitler note goes to this, and we can trail it to emptiness. So indirectly, Hitler and emptiness are connected um, in this case. But um, it's not net, not a connection you can uh, you can see here in the cloud. In the cloud, there is no connection. It's it's like a uh -huh. imaginary room, and um, it's yeah you can imagine it's like floating and all over the place. Yeah, it's all over the place, uh -huh. and um, so there's no knowledge work. It's it's like um, yeah powerful because you can have very far fetched connections. Um, here, this is about nutrition, so we have here food, and this can go to, uh, let's say, this is food for the mind, because you wrote something here about um, meditation, or uh, a Facebook fasting, or whatever, and uh, now we can make the connection between uh, Facebook fasting and real or nutritional fasting like here because over uh, the overlapping tag of food or something but um, but um, the yeah the tags are not very uh, they're not very powerful oh fuck I picked too much um, I don't want your blood. <laughs> Thanks. And I put it in the teppich. So the, uh, the, the, there's one one point hidden um, when you connected uh, Hitler to my lack of beard. Yeah. However, you did that. Um, the connection to emptiness, um, or the the trail through the nodes um, down there to emptiness, revealed an indirect connection between the hashtag Hitler and the hashtag emptiness, as you said. Yeah. And um, just as you pointed out, um, this this isn't a connection that is 
existing or that does exist in the platonic world of ideas. It doesn't exist there in the cloud of tags either. But um, it's, it's what makes your archive, your personal archive of your knowledge and your research. Mm. I mean, the example may not be the best of all examples that are possible in this world, but um, it shows that um, in the end, if you, uh, if you get from, from the emptiness tag to nihilism or whatever, um, that you can then uh, tie Hitler to nihilism in this case and no. uh, see, see where this goes. And this is an original connection in your archive, in your world of ideas, which is not the real world of platonic ideas, but your own adaptation. Mine is... You, you're, you have the, the <laughs> exclusive access to platonic ideas? Not exclusive. But exclusive, exclusive to you. Hmm. Because you're excluded. Because of your lack of beard. Here we have it. So if you want access to the platonic world <laughs> of ideas, uh, shoot Sasha an email. <laughs> Maybe he can invite you. I'm obviously not Hasht part of this Hashtag game. Platon. Platoon. Platoon? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we look here. Do we have any questions? No questions. I like no questions. Yes, no interactions. Always the best. I'm kind of an introvert, so it is in my uh, pleasure. <laughs> comfort zone? <laughs> yes, my comfort zone, no. If you have any questions, we wait a minute, but I think uh, we are done for this episode, unless Christian has something to say. Yes. <laughs> As I expected. <laughs> um, yeah. Perhaps we fill the minute with some more discussion about how Christian should never shave his beard again. Instead, I could draw ponies uh, or something <laughs> cute, like cats or... Squirrels. We make the face big again. Oh. Yeah. There we are. Um, yeah, but I hope, um, I don't think, uh, if you have questions, yeah, questions, 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 yes. Okay, the first uh, viewers are fleeing now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, if you have questions, please ask them. Um, it's a uh, yeah, kind of difficult to explain um, topic. We will work on that um, in explanation with a more um, um, with better drawing. I think uh, perhaps more from Christian, less from me. Um, and um, yeah, this but this is kind of the explanation for the or the, the bird's eye of you. Uh, for some concepts that are very important for knowledge work because um, in my opinion this is um, one of the main uh, main reasons why uh, most of the automatization doesn't work because automatization ha just have uh, has access to um, uh, to this cloud or to another form of cloud and if you don't um, make this direct links uh, and form uh, uh, yourself and form those trails which really represent your own trail of thoughts um, then it's not your uh, note archive but like um, like an empty um, not well thought out um, yeah, machine uh, machine calculation and this is not how knowledge work works so if it would be we just uh, feed some supercomputers with uh, some text and let let them analyze them, and then it, it, it could be pro it could produce something. But um, we are not way we are uh, not not anywhere near uh, to this point. And I don't think that we will be in the next couple of decades. Yeah, in my opinion. So um, don't hold your breath. For your career to be fully automatized, <laughs> but could you explain what you mean by um, automatization only has access to the cloud? Ah, um, one of 
one, one trail of thought is, uh, goes like this. Um, many people think that uh, the telecast method aims to, surpri to only surprise you and uh, the surprise links um, or the surprise connections are formed out of text. So you write notes, put, in, put them into the archive and then um, uh, at some years later you search in the archive, see okay this note has like five tags and you search for a tag and then you get uh, another uh, another couple of uh, nodes uh, that have this tag and then there's a connection or something like that. But um, this kind of automatization is based on a messy cloud, on something that is not there, doesn't have structure. Um, this goes b even, even directly against um, uh, uh, kind of definition of knowledge like um, or even information like data is something that's uh, just there and uh, information is structured in uh, data and if you climb up um, the aggregation ladder from data to information uh, to knowledge to wisdom um, there's more structure, uh, structure added and uh, the more structure you add I, I can write it uh, I can draw it. Oh. Yes. I know you like it when it gets ugly. Um, okay. Imagine you have some data points like here. Then you have here some connections. And then you write something about this cluster, and this cluster, and this cluster. And then you have here a piece of information. Um, when you have a couple of informations and you add in uh, some other filters like um, uh, uh, relevancy, relevancy? Uh, like relevancy, then you have knowledge. For example, you have here just a couple of data on uh, nutrition. Then we have here, uh, for example, wheat uh, contains gluten, wheat contains uh, uh, a copious amount of starch, and wheat contains um, just a bunch of antinutrients. And we have here the knowledge, or the piece of knowledge, that wheat is deadly. Why? Because we add in, in this step, the relevancy, um, this is kind of uh, the notion on nutrients and anti-nutrients and uh, sensitivity and so on and so forth. And now we have here like wisdom. So we have some knowledge points. I'd be interested to hear your definition of wisdom. Wisdom is to act wisely on existent knowledge. So wisdom is, um, okay, it's, it, uh, I don't have a good definition, but wisdom in this case would be uh, application. The Greek phronesis, the, the, the capability to do a clever thing or the right thing or the fitting thing in a yeah. situation. Yeah. So uh, imagine um, on the knowledge part here, we just we just uh, deadly. This this would be our knowledge, um, and we have other no point of knowledge that shouldn't be uh, that mustn't be um, or don't have to be uh, um, uh, about nutrition. It could be about the importance of uh, a clear brain because uh, the anti nutrients um, contribute to a uh, illness of the neurons and you have here your life goals and what what not and the wisdom would be don't eat meat uh, don't eat wheat because it uh, destroys 
focus. This could be okay. It's it's not it's it's not perfect. Don't don't take it as a blueprint for wisdom, but uh, this is how aggregation works. And this cannot be captured automatically, because all the steps are decisions, and uh, machines don't uh, don't decide. They only operate on rules. That's not a decision, because de decision um, take more of a uh, non-computable uh, way. For example, here a machine couldn't compute your preference in life, or uh, couldn't be uh, couldn't um, uh, compute some moral thing or, or something like that. They just produce what you put in before, uh, and we could argue uh, weeks and weeks about that. Uh, that the brain could be just a computing device, and uh, it's basically the same, but. Uh, if you think that you're wrong, without any further reasoning. Uh, so, yeah, no questions. I think that's it. Zoom out. I think it's a cool effect. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool effect. Well, everything here is wrong. <laughs> so, um, if you have, yeah, if 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 you are too shy to write an anonymous question in the YouTube uh, chat box or the live chat, then you can still contact us uh, privately in the mail. Try to contact Christian first. I'm the one who does actually answer emails. I answer copious amounts of emails, but I don't forward it to Christian because I think it's messy. Um, or you can write us uh, a comment on the blog, comment on the video, if you are not live or watching this and were not live. Um, we are very thankful for any input. Do you have something to say? Say goodbye. Th <laughs> Okay, so wrapping things up again. No, thanks for watching. Um, I think we'll encounter this topic time and again in the future and the past. Um, we'll be talking about this in the book, in the course, in the app, in everything, because it's so central to all of your life. Especially in your ass, yes, into everything. I don't think that that makes sense as a conclusion of the sentence. As I always say, which if you try, if you try to, try to what has been If you try to insult someone, you, no. <laughs> if you try to insult some, uh, someone, it's not important that it makes sense. Ah. It's only about the reaction, and you go over a certain limit or a certain, a certain uh, line of social acceptance. This is kind of the golden rule of insulting. If you want to learn about more, I only give private coachings on <laughs> insulting. Like, how many per hour do you say? Much. Mm, much. Yes. This is also so if you have much money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. Say goodbye. Ah, goodbye again.